the Merseyside final. And over the past 24 hours, something in the region of 80,000 fans have been streaming down the motorway from my adopted city, Liverpool, to be part of the day. I'm going to tell you that some people have paid upwards of £200 for a £20 ticket. You'll understand that it's a very special day indeed. And would you agree with that, James? Well, it's a lot of money, 200 quid, but it is a great day, Ian, isn't it? Yeah, marvellous for the lads of Liverpool. Liverpool, Merseyside now, twinned with Wembley, they say. <laughs> and they were all playing football this morning when we oh, came they, in at 8 o'clock. It was marvellous sight. A quarter past Last eight, there, were, there was 400 of them playing over there, all playing football, all, all mixed in. It was marvellous. Showing marvellous skills, cans in hand, not spilling a drop. It was really great, you know, absolutely tremendous. Now, inside the stadium itself, Jim, uh, the weather's been terrible down here in London, and I suppose yeah. the pitch will be very heavy. It was like that in the Milk Cup yeah. final, you know, a few yeah. weeks ago. And, uh, not the conditions we'd expect for a cup final there, really. Not, not cup final conditions, Ian, but I don't think anybody who's here is that bothered, are they? Yeah. To be perfectly honest. I think you could play with Wellington's on today as long as they're playing. That's the main thing, isn't it? That's right. We're going to go back to the traditions of the game. And, uh, you know, as, as we do every year, the Saint and Greavesy go to the camps looking for a bit of fun as well as the football. Well, this year, Greavesy meets the double football of the year, great player, Gary Lineker of Everton, and the Saint, well, he goes back to his old stomping ground where he played before the war, Anfield. Well, here we are in the old dressing room. And really not a lot changed in the club. This is where I used to park myself in the morning for training. And really, when you think about it, you know, Anfield, there's not a lot has changed in 25 years. Since my era in 1964, the team have won the league 11 times, with four titles arriving in the last five years. It's a remarkable achievement. Well, here we are in the old boot room, and again, you know, nothing has changed. This is where uh, Bob Paisley, Joe Fagan used to plan all the campaigns for Liverpool. The players' boots are all there. Ronnie Whelan's here. As in years gone by, the entire squad still catch the bus to work. Bill Shankly it was who began the tradition of players taking the coach from Anfield to the training ground. And the practice session is no different either. It's highlighted by the six-a-side match. It's a routine that served the test of time well. Now, Lawrenson with a chance. And Rush possibly with a chance. And Liverpool, right on the stroke of half-time, have gone into the lead. Nicole, Walsh, Lawrenson, beneath this rookie and it's number two for Liverpool. Mulby now trying to get beyond Bond and there was the mistake and there was the goal by Rush. by Nicole. Oh, still going on. And another one by Rush. 2-0. That's it. Finishing of that quality is honed in the shooting boards of Melwood. Another Shankly innovation. Well, I'll tell you what, Kenny, the shooting's going well today, isn't it? Ah, oh, they've got a good target team for. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, come on now, let's go in and get a cup of tea. Cheers, Leave sir. the boys to it. <laughs> you know, compared with, we can say, some of the others. Oh! Yeah! they? So you are, Grisha, that's one back for you. Well, thank you very much, Jan. Good shot, that. Mind you, you couldn't miss, really, could you? Well, I'm here with a fellow who hopes to sink a few reds today. And I'm going to show him out, first of all. Foul, Gary Lineker, four. It's Gary Lineker. Gary, me son. Hey, you've had a good season, haven't you? Yeah, not so bad. How many are you notched? I think it's about 39 now. 39, that's not too bad at all. I'll tell you what, it's a long time since a player's notched 39, isn't it? I think Rushy did it a couple of years ago. He got a few more, in fact. But, uh, did he? Quite, quite pleased with that, yeah. Takes a bit of doing, though, doesn't it? Yep. Lineker. Can it be two for Everton? It is! A personal landmark 
for Gary Lineker amidst the passion of a Merseyside derby. Has it all gone right for you? Did you have a bad time at any moment during the season? Because I had a bad time once for five yeah. minutes, but I got over it pretty really quick. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a few spells where we went a few games without a goal, but nothing too prolonged. But you've hit it right at the right time because your last couple of games you've really been on target, haven't you? That's right. I re had to recover from a little hamstring injury I had and I've come back and I feel as sharp as ever and I've managed to score a few in the last couple of Was games. Was it three in one and two, two in, in the one. other? So you're the man in form. Well, hopefully. What about the man at the back? Because not many people know about him. Neville Southall got injured yeah. and Bobby Mims come in and he's done a good job for you, hasn't he? He has. Um, we all thought what a terrible blow it was to lose Nev, of course, which it is. Yeah. Because he's one of the world's best goalkeepers, and yeah. Bobby's come in and he, he's done a fabulous job. I think he's got about three goals in, in about nine games or something, and he's hardly put a foot wrong. And we've got every confidence in him for Saturday. I'm sure you have. I, I know Pat Jennings. I was talking to Pat Jennings in the week, and he's got every confidence in him. He says he hopes he doesn't <laughs> fall over during the night. Anyway, we are here to sink a few reds, my son. Yes, do you think you can do it? Um, I hope so. Because this is your game. How many how many breaks, century breaks have you had at this? Um, I've had two in proper matches and then I've had another five just practising. So, oh, so you've played a bit. Oh, a little well, bit what's an average break for you, girl? Um, I get probably a regular 40, 50 breaks. Do you? Oh, so it should be a good game between you and no, I. should be close. Fair enough. Well, we'll give it a try, shall we? You're going well at this, aren't you? Not too bad. Hey. Do I get to have another go? We're all snooker, loopy, snooker, loopy, that's our way. Gary Lineker, 123, Jimmy Greaves, 2. Well, I've just got stuffed 123 points to 2. But I'm going to get my own back on this fella because I'm away to practice and he can't anymore because they don't have any snooker tables in Barcelona, do they? Okay. Oh. <laughs> 